and now we're recording, so... Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy IX, the revised, well, re-released version on Steam. We're picking up where I left off in the previous playthrough, which is, um, right after we left Alexandria and the Prima Vista, the airship Prima Vista, carrying the Tentless members and Princess Garnett, crash landed into Evil Forest. So yeah, we are now in the midst of looking for our fair princess and um, Vivi, the little black mage. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's see what this talk can do. Sina do. Nothing very much. Can I talk to Venera? Zena? Garnet's missing. Blank's already searching inside. You search for her outside. Okay, so I know what I have to do. I'm a conductor. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, get off of me. Trinker, some other guy. I'm so glad that my symbol survived the crash. That's what you're glad about. And, uh, yeah. This is Moscow. We didn't have any mock milk as far as I remember. That's about it, so let's go. Evil Forest. This was quite a sad moment in the game as far as I remember. Um, I don't know who has played this, who has not. I'm going to just assume that everyone has played this though. Oh, here we go. Sh she's in trouble. What the hell is that? Okay. Release the princess at once. Yeah, like it's really gonna listen to you. Gosh, Stainer. Come on. You'd think a 33-year-old man would kinda get a grip that a monster is not going to listen to him. But nope. Yay, so we learn about trends in this battle. What is that light? I don't know. Somehow it raises my power. Could it really be trance? I've heard of it before. Trance is induced by a surge of emotion. Alright, let's take him. Battle-wise. At least he doesn't see. Oops. Well, that's the end. See certain important battles. Princess? Princess! What the heck? Where did they go? I was too scared to cast any spells. That monster's probably gonna eat her. How could I let this happen? Don't worry, she's not dead yet. That's so comforting, Zidane. That monster was only a minion. He's probably gonna take her to his master. Really comforting. That means the princess might still be... Come, we must go find her at once. What? Round two. Now we gotta rescue Vivi. Let me go, help me. Well, thankfully Vivi helps us. Good job, Vivi. Magic seems effective. Of course it is. Dead. Okay. Yay. My favorite black mage of all time is free. Mm -hmm. I drop. It's the first bell I get EXP. Yeah. Thanks. Are you alright? Yeah, I think so. Ugh. Zidane with the epic dodge. The princess. You guys are lucky. If it weren't for Zidane, you'd both be dead. 
Some of the monsters in this forest reproduce by planting seeds in other animals. And when the seeds sprout, it's hasta la vista. You become beef jerky. <laughs> um, am I gonna die? No, you're gonna be fine. Here, drink this. You'll remove all the seeds from your body. Ugh, it. Princess, I'm coming right now. Stand aside. Room behind you, go. The princess is in grave danger. Do you intend to abandon her? You're in no condition. Don't worry about the princess. The boss will think of something. Hey, stop. Get some rest. Yeah, and take that medicine I gave you. Damn it. I can't just stand here. Look at the Garnet doll on the table over there. <laughs> the princess's life rests in my hands. What can their boss possibly accomplish? A whole lot. Just so you know. This medicine smells terrible. And the color. This is obviously poison. <laughs> heave heave. Ugh. I can't take it anymore. God help me. Shrugs, drinks. Hey, not bad. <laughs> Forget it. Monsters born out of the mist are crawling everywhere. So what? There's nothing out there we can't handle. Yeah, but what are we gonna do about the wounded? We can take them with us. How are we gonna carry all of them? Trust me, we are now, and we'll all get wasted. My boys come before the princess, you know. It's too bad. Ugh. We're gonna stay put till everyone recovers. You better not set one foot outside this ship. You got that? Can't believe you're abandoning her. You're nothing but a big coward. Wow, Zidane, talk to your boss that way. Got nothing else to say. If you don't agree with me, you're free to leave the band anytime. Yep, that's obviously what's gonna happen next. I see a chest over here. Bronze gloves. Now can I put those on? You know what, I'm gonna equip everyone once I get things together. Okay, um... Time to escape. Hmm. The structure is in poor condition. Of course it is, you damn elf. <laughs> you crashed. <laughs> Sorry guys. Perhaps I can break out by ramming into the wall. Dot dot dot. Fire, fire, let me out. I'm still not feeling well. What's this? What an ugly doll. Princess Garnett, age 15? How dare they write the princess's name on such a ragged doll? Besides, the princess is not 15. She's 16. <laughs> Stainer, you take your duty way too seriously. And more ATE. Girl who was left behind. Ruby. Hey, Ruby. Where'd everybody go? Should I even bother with her accent? And what am I supposed to do now? That's it for hers. Okay, well, we know why Ruby's not here now. My little baby. It should be here somewhere. Huh? Damn. Where is it? What happened to my Garnet doll? <laughs> I know where it is, Sina. Man, how am I supposed to sleep now? Oh gosh. 
Jeez. Poor little doll. The fire bear the fire probably caught it. It's alive, Cinna. Looks like that's all the ADs we get for now. Hey blank. Once they attack people, I guess they don't call it evil for us for nothing. I gave that black mage some medicine. He'll be alright. Why don't you go see him? I think he wants to thank you. Sure thing, blank. Chest first. <whistles> ether! Never ever forget your ethers, like I say. Oh. But thank you for helping me. Uh, don't mention it. Besides, it was your black magic that saved the day. You know, you've got some major power for such a little guy. Dun, dun, dun. What's wrong? Are you peeved at me because I called you Lil? Hey, you're a great mage with great powers, alright? To hell with looks. It's what inside that counts. <laughs> he's probably saying that because he's probably struggled with his tail his entire life. I'm sorry. Ugh, I'm yawning so much. When that monster caught her, I couldn't do anything. Hey, don't worry about the princess. I'll get her back, I promise. Thank you, Mr. Zidane. Whoa, oh, this is the first time anyone's called me Mr. Just call me Zidane, alright? I'm still very aware that I'm butchering his name. Okay, Zidane. Or Zidane. I will never get used to. Okay. Talk to Vivi. Jeez, he was pretty down. Maybe I shouldn't have made that promise. I don't even know if I'll be able to find her. Flashback. Man. I never felt so strange. Maybe fate brought us together. Can't explain it. Man, I can't stop thinking about her. Because you fell for her. What am I gonna do? Of course you're gonna go look for her. Yeah. What's there to think about? She's cute, and she's in trouble. That's all that matters. <laughs> At least for now. There you are. Hey again, Blank. Why do you look so serious? Uh-oh. What are you up to this time? I'm gonna take that knight and the black mage to find the princess. You're crazy. Man, you don't even know what's out there. Besides, there's no way the boss will allow that. I know. Jeez, why do you always gotta play hero? The boss is gonna kill you. Because he is a hero. And he has the very nature of a hero, guys. I love Zidane for that. I mean, if you remember FF7 and um, 8, I think you'll remember how reluctant um, our heroes were in those games. And Zidane's not like that, and that's what I like about him. Well, what are you waiting for? Go talk to the boss. You'll have to excuse my constant yawnings because I am sleepy, even though I slept earlier today. I um, probably have to go talk to Baku right now. We lock the all night up in the instrument storage room. He fusses a little from, bat from time to time, but he hasn't been all that bad. Mm, where do I go to talk to Baku? Place. Uh, Okay, I uh, best equip some stuff, just to be sure, certain. I don't know if I'm gonna die against Baku. He's quite tough, as far as I remember. Especially since Zidane is facing him alone. I don't have 
have anything to put on you at all. It sucks, man. It so sucks. <sighs> so dang, you're on your own. Good luck, buddy. Am I gonna die here? Do you hear that? Something's crying. What's crying? I don't remember crying. Again, a decade ago, guys. A whole freaking decade ago. Ah, chew! Took you long enough. Fell asleep, darn it. So, you're leaving, eh? Yeah, I promised Garnett I'd kidnap her. <laughs> you did kidnap her. Ah, I didn't ask you why. Can't blame you though. She's damn beautiful. Mm -hmm. I guess that's reason enough. Yeah, okay. You're such a good boss to your like... Well, I guess he's your adopted son, isn't he? Zidane. Well, I hope you're ready. Because I'm going to bust you up for breaking the rules. Alright. <laughs> okay, get your butt over to the cargo room. We got more room there. Oh, Baku, please don't kill me. Potion, yes, very thoughtful of you, game. It'd be helpful if you actually gave me some um, equipment upgrades. Alas. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Where's the Moogle? Where's the dang Moogle? That's me the whole day. So, why am I so scared of Baku? When I was a kid, I swear boss battles were like the most frightening thing in the world. <laughs> now it's just like, uh, whatever. Except when I play this game, apparently. I ain't holding back. I seriously got goosebumps. <laughs> oh, shit. Go find your princess. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Damn, that hurt. He pulled his punches till that last one. Yeah, he sure as heck gave you a chance. Oh, good job, Zidane. Way it goes, Zidane. I unlock the door to start, so you're free to go talk to that knight. Thanks, Blank. Miss you, buddy. Dot again, and <laughs> he's the one with the doll. Oh. Come on, you're too old to be playing with a doll. Silence. A scoundrel like you could never understand. The age difference between them is really quite staggering. And yet, Zidane comes across as the more mature. It's quite interesting the way he's so worldly, you know? Like, so not like Cloud and Squall. <laughs> I'm not, like, insulting those two, by the way. I love them. I just love Zidane more. I'm just overwhelmed with concern for the princess. If only you rogues hadn't kidnapped her. This is all your fault. If anything should happen to the princess, I will have your head. Take it easy. Jeez. I'm gonna go look for her now. I'll let you come with me if you promise to be good. <laughs> See what I mean? Mature. What do you say, Rusty? R Rusty? I am Adalbert Stainer, captain of the Knights of Pluto, and I will never work with you conniving thieves. Captain? I figured you were a private. What with that cheap, rusty armor? Look, this has nothing to do with Tantalus. It's something I decided to do on my own. I just want to save Garnett. <laughs> you had better not be lying. Because if you are, I won't hesitate to kill you. Yeah, yeah. I'm counting on you, Rusty. Make no mistake. I'm only going with you to rescue the princess. I will deal with you personally when this is over. 
Whatever. It may be difficult with just the two of us. We should seek Master Vivi's help as well. I like how he calls Vivi Master Vivi. Why are you calling him Master? You fool. The Black Mage has unimaginable powers. I don't want to get him involved, but alas, it can't be helped. Yon. We need Master Vivi's power to rescue the princess. Indeed we do. Alright, let's go talk to Vivi. Um, um, chest. <laughs> they just make me walk all over the place. Got that chest, got that chest. Another rather. They know I need those. It's kind of hard to recover MP in this game, as far as I remember. Oh, hey, dude. You're standing. Getting out of this forest is going to be tough, but getting back above the mist is going to be even tougher. It's a long way to Lindblom. You don't say. Hey, Marcus. I heard you beat the boss. You sure are something. He pulled his punches. I don't know why the boss was laughing afterwards. Maybe you hit him too hard. He pulled his punches. That's why he's laughing. Well, Vivi, we're ready to go look for the princess. Really? That's great. Be careful, okay? <laughs> You're coming with us. Actually, we want you to come with us, too. Huh? B but I can't do anything. Hartley, Master Vivi. Your magic was highly effective against that monster. In all honesty, I hold your power in greater esteem than I do the scoundrels. <laughs> b but I'm scared. I couldn't even move last time. Please, Master Vivi. For the sake of Princess Garnett and all of Alexandria, I humbly request your assistance. Come on, you're a blank mage for crying out loud. Show us what you've got. Alright, let's get going. Okay. Poor Vivi, you kind of got forced into that. I'll try my best. Thank you, Master Vivi. Master Vivi. Yeah? It's about your black magic. I wish to try an experiment. I was wondering if... Whisper, whisper. Magic sword? Okay, I'll give it a try. Hmm. Vivi and Stainer, probably the best um, combination in terms of uh, duology. Am I even speaking sense right now? Basically, they work best when in the party together. Um, okay, so... Okay. So, now that I have the party, do I just exit? I assume I do. So long, Tantalus. She's you're really digger, huh? I can't sit around knowing a girl's in trouble. It goes against my nature. There it is, guys. Zidane and his nature. <laughs> I like his quote. Whatever, you're full of crap. Oh, I get it. You're jealous that I'm gonna get me a sweetie pie. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I do think Blank is the kind of person who wouldn't have trouble with girls. I wonder if he actually does end up with someone. Though it's not like we ever really get a canon um, indication of that. Fish. She's not even my type. Yeah, we know. I came down here to give you this. You're always thinking about me. But I won't need a love potion to reel this one in. <laughs> Why don't you get your mind off girls for a second? This is the medicine I gave to that black mage in the night. It's sort of like a seed remover. Cool, this will come really handy. Why am I always helping you? Because you're a good friend. Received blank's medicine. But yeah, here's a little tip from the boss. Don't forget to set your abilities. Leaving the band is your business, but you better keep training. Learning more abilities is gonna make you even stronger. Good luck, Baku. Leaving <laughs> the band is your own business. <laughs> okay. Hey, Blank, do you, how do you set abilities again? Oh, I don't need to learn this. 
Man, how can you forget? It's so basic. Open the menu, select ability, select equip, and choose the abilities you want to set. Thanks, Blank. I'll see you when I see you. How about never? <laughs> Gotta love Blank. Come back whenever you need rest. You'll always be welcome. Orchestra in the forest. Okay, let's really liven up this place. Liven up this place, whatever. Yeah, let our music do the fighting against those monsters. Wonder if that helps. This ought to boost morale. This is great. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, not bad. I'm gonna go take a look around. Stay on your toes. We'll be leaving soon. Okay, boss. You gotta love how Tantalus is like um, theatrical and yet thieves at the same time. Seems there are like there's like a half that does the thievery, and then there's a half that uh, does the actual performing. And while they all have those skills, um, ooh, hello. I'm so cute. I guess some are just better at it than others. Hmm, no sign of any monsters here. I think I didn't run into any. Bring. Do as I say, not as I do. Are you sure about this? Yeah, don't worry. We'll be out of here soon, too. Here, take this map. It's gonna be a long trip back to Lindlum. Alright, I'll see you later. I'm counting on you. Love the salutes. Spring. This is going to heal my HP, even though I haven't taken any damage. Hey. You're Monty! Yay, I have Monet for you. Give Monty a letter. A letter from Kupo? Thanks for the delivery, Kupo. I think Queen Brand is up to something, but I suspect Princess Garnet even more, Kupo. She might leave home soon, with a prince on a white horse. Maybe it's just my imagination. Well, you were right about the fact that she was gonna leave. It's just that it wasn't on a white horse. And we've got no prince, we had an airship, we had a bomb on our tail. So yeah, and now we're all in deep, deep trouble in the forest. <laughs> hmm? Princess Garnet? Didn't she just... Oh, never mind. The Pope? I'll take it that the monster came this way. strange. It wasn't like this last time I came here, but I guess this is why I traveled. Encountered the unexpected. 
Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here before I get trapped in ice. <laughs> Still skin. This is actually quite funny. I think I know where Stillskin is because I know the story that happens a little further from this point. <laughs> yeah, it's quite funny. Remember that, guys. Remember this letter because it's really cute if you are not aware of the story. Whole place. I want to know where he is, Kipo. There must be something strange going on. Bell time. And there she is. I think this guy can poison by the way. So this is the master. Princess, you stay out of this. But Xandria would be disgraced if a mere bandage of this cute princess. Oh, is it? Can you imagine this guy? Seriously. It's amazing the game doesn't crack under this guy's insult. You think you can handle him on your own? Yeah, there we go. Let's get him, baby. Honor has no place when it comes to something like and death. Please get a hold of yourself. Then give it a stuff. <laughs> Princess, please try to drink all of it. Is she gonna be okay? Oh man, what now? Jeez, we're gonna be surrounded. Let's get out of here. Go! What are you waiting for? And now we gotta run!
blank. Damn it, that idiot. Blank. I hope she gets well soon. This is all his fault. Have you nothing to say you feel? Oh. The princess. Stainer? How did I survive? You brought me here? It is my sworn duty to protect you at any cost. What are you talking about? It was Vivi's magic and my dagger that got you out of there, princess. Honestly, I think it was blank. Thank you both. That monkey deserves no praise. None of this would have happened if you and your band hadn't abducted the princess. And how dare you claim that you have rescued her? Um, he did. When we get back to Alexandria, I will stain her. I love the castle of my own will. What a coincidence, eh? We went to snatch her, and she wanted to be snatched. <laughs> Impossible. It's true. So what do you say, Rusty? Friends? Come on, let's just enjoy this camping trip while it lasts. Sidian <laughs> yeah, really is an easygoing guy. I mean, he offers friendship to a guy who totally wants to kill him. Camping, you imbecile. Surely we, even you must know something about the mist. The vicious monsters it spawns, the abnormalities it stirs in the mind and body. Princess, we must leave this dangerous place at once. You gotta be kidding. She hasn't even fully recovered yet. Silence, who asked for your opinion? Um, he's just being, like, realistic. <laughs> Alright, tell me. How do you plan to get out of here? It's pretty obvious that Zidane has um, had a hand in learning how to survive on the streets. And Stinger, on the other hand, is... I guess he's been sheltered his entire life. Sadly, I feel like that was probably me. <laughs> Until a point. We're standing in a valley surrounded by tall cliffs. And last I heard, Northgate and Southgate were sealed off. Yeah, that's what I thought. Grr. The princess can barely walk right now. You went through this. You should know. I think we should rest here for now. I will never follow your stainer. Wow, he uses a name this time. State your sworn duty. What else? To protect Princess Garnet till Alexandros. There you go. Very well. <laughs> Until the princess recovers, I will guard this place with my life. Sounds good to me. Baby, let's get some rest. How are you feeling? Good, thanks to that medicine you gave me. Could this be... Yeah, I was surprised too. After we beat that big plan guy, the forest got completely petrified. Vivi told me that we were able to escape because of your friend. His name is Blank. You must go help him. You can't do anything for him right now. But I can't... We'll come back for him. I'm sure there's a way to cure him. Let's get going. According to the map that Blaine gave me, there was a cavern to the south of us. Maybe we can get above the mist through that cavern. Are you alright? Everything's gonna be fine. Trust me. <laughs> Look, there's something coming. Wait, Kupo. Hey again, Monty. I'm impressed, Kapo. First time I've seen anyone escape from Evil Forest. You all must be strong, Kapo. I'm only level 4, Kapo. <laughs> but don't get cocky, Kapo. 
Lots of stronger monsters ahead. Before you go out to the world, Monster will teach you a few things. Teach me Monster lesson one. <laughs> I remember these. Yay, bro. Hey, bro. What are you gonna teach me today? Lots of neat stuff. You're gonna love this lecture. Okay. Um, do I need to know anything? Save moguls, help menu, battles abilities. I'll just gotta take a look at help menu. You see the finger icon thing in the menu? Press one, and I'll come help you anytime. Oh, it's you. After you're done with my help, press one so I can leave. I'm usually pretty busy, so try not to keep me too long. Okay. I don't think I need to know any of the other things, um, because, yeah, I, I'm decently familiar enough with the game that I think I don't really need to go through them. So I will be skipping these guys. Gosh, bro, you sure know a lot. Yeah, I know. I have a gift for you, Kapo. Take this flute. Yeah, it's so cute. Received Moogle's flute. With this flute, you can call us anywhere in the world, Kapo. Press B to play it. Okay. Happy trails, Kapo. Thank you. Kapopo. Bye. Kapo. That's how Zidane wakes him up. Who goes there? Your friends already left, Kapo. Princess, wait! <laughs> um, normal navigation. Enter buildings, or hit a vehicle, call Moogle, toggle navigation map, camera control, lock, unlock camera rotation, switch perspective. With any luck, I will remember these. Let's see, so we are in the Mist Continent. This is your first look at the world map if you have not played this game before. Um, yeah. I basically will be stopping my recording over here. Um, so we shall do, I believe, it is Ice Cavern in the next one, I think. I'll have to remember. But yeah, this is pretty much um, what happens in the Evil Forest. That is the end of that chapter of the story. It is quite sad because if you remember that moment when Zidane told Blank um, to protect everyone and Blank was questioning in his mind what did Zidane mean by that. Basically, if you notice that scene, um, you'll remember that Zidane pretty much let all his other groupmates, party members, run ahead of him. So he, yeah, it's just in his nature, he really can't leave anyone behind has to play here and save the day. And I really, really like that about him, if I haven't stated it enough times already. Zidane was almost going to sacrifice himself in order to let everyone else get away, but Blank took his place instead. So, here we all are. Calling the Moogle. Moogle. Moogle? So yeah, on the world map you can save and tent. I'm gonna save. Since this is it for today. See you in the next episode, guys.